a man had been walking and walking and walking. Somehow, he'd ended up lost in a forest. He was so tired. Between the branches of the trees, he could make out a light. Perhaps where the light was, there were people. Perhaps they would let him stay in their home. He made his way between the trees to see a little old man outside a cottage sawing wood. Father, please, is there a corner in your house where I could sleep? The old man. I'm sorry. I am not the father of the house. Go inside. Ask my father. Traveller went in. He found a man older than the one outside who's sitting by a fire. Please, father, is there a corner in your house where I could sleep? The old man, oh, I'm sorry, I'm not the father of the house. Go through that door there and you'll find my father. So the traveller did. This cottage was small from the outside, but it seemed to have plenty of rooms on the inside. In the next room, he found a, a man way older than the one he'd just met, reading the Bible, struggling to read the Bible in the poor light, his hands shaking. Father, I'm a traveller. Please, is there a corner in your house where I could sleep? The old man closed the Bible and said, I am sorry. I am not the father of the house. You must open that door and ask my father. The traveller thought to himself, do I want to meet a man older than this one? But he'd come this far. So he pushed open the door in the next room. The poor old man was wrapped in blankets. The poor old man was trying to smoke a pipe, but his hands shook so much as he lifted the stem of the pipe toward his mouth, he put it in his eye by mistake. Father, please, is there a corner in your house where I could sleep? The old man. I am sorry. I am not the father of the house. Open the door. Ask my father. so dark you'd have to shut your eyes to see how dark it was. The traveller put out his hands. He felt a bed. In the bed he felt a bony foot. On the top of the bony foot a bony leg, a bony hip, bony ribs, a bony neck, a bony head. His eyes had grown accustomed to the gloom by then and he saw looking back an old man his eyes were even brighter than the paleness of his skin. Father, please, is there a corner in your house where I could sleep? The old man. I am sorry. I am not the father of the house. Look in the cradle. Ask my father. Sure enough, there was a cradle. It was rocking. No hand to rock it, but still it rocked. He leant over the side of it, looked in, and there curled up small. It was an old man who looked for all the world like a baby. Please, father, 
Is there a corner in your house where I could sleep? I am sorry. I am not the father of the house. Look in the drinking horn. Ask my father. Hanging from the wall, off a nail, was a drinking horn, protruding out of the open end was a wrinkled head. The face was so wrinkled you couldn't see where the eyes were. Father, please, I beg you, is there a corner in your house where I could sleep? The little slit of a mouth began to move. The traveller put his ear closer, the better to hear. And the old man said, I am sure that there is a corner in my house where you could sleep. Welcome, my son, to my house. And when the traveller turned around, there was a table. And on the table, good things to eat and good things to drink. Once his belly was full, once he was warmed, he turned and saw a heap of furs before the fire. So he lay down on the furs, he wrapped himself in them, and he whispered into the darkness. It was a long journey, but it was worth it to find you, the true father of the house. And he closed his eyes and went to sleep.